I just made $60,000 this week trading Bitcoin and Ethereum with this easy to learn strategy. The problem is 90% of you are gonna trade it wrong and in fact, lose money. Now, it wasn't too long ago that I was only making $600 profit baby gains and I'm still mind blown that I have the ability now to make $60,000 profit trades. Now, I, like you, started with a very baby, small, tiny, little bitch account. And if you learn the principles that I can teach you, you can also earn the right to go from a small account to a big account, but it doesn't come without time, patience, and discipline. Now, if you stated the end of this video, I'm going to give you the opportunity to go through some high level advanced training to grow a small account into a large account. All you got to do is hit that like button to support this channel and keep watching. All right, guys, we're going to start monitoring this trade in real time as it plays out and see if I can somewhat anticipate what I think could be happening as I already did as I'm already up on this trade. I'm already up $41,000 locked in, looking to lock in the remaining my profits here shortly, especially since tonight, actually the CPI numbers are coming out. But if we look at what's been happening, happening on Bitcoin. We've been seeing a huge trend, the upside from 16 all the way up to 30,000, almost a 100% rally. And as of right now, this was just a, a quick pop to the upside. And there's something which I call a magnet. And when you typically see price come close to a support level, but it's not quite reaching there, almost always, especially if it comes to a whole number such for, as this, which was 20,000 right here. Also, now we're coming into 30,000 right here. I call it a magnet because it's just like you get so close to it as we were here. We're hovering about 28,000 to about 27,000 and we start bull flagging. At this point, it's almost like a no brainer that this is going to see a magnet to that level. And a lot of times that magnet to that level is kind of like the signaling of the potential top, especially after a major run. So if we kind of rewind what actually happened here on Bitcoin, going back all the way to here, as we peaked out to this level right here. Now, typically, if I see a big run into a resistance level, I'm looking to short it. I'm actually looking to see a spike over the previous resistance level and then short to the downside of which I did make a lot of money shorting this drop right here on Bitcoin as we came back and retested these highs. But this actually was the banking collapse that actually happened right here. And that led to a big spike to the upside for crypto as everybody was looking at as a potential safe haven. And as we look at this chart right here, this looks like a potential reversal pattern right here. If an, an asset rips into a resistance level and doesn't see a swift pullback off that resistance level, it starts forming what we call a bullish flag, which typically looks like somewhat of a sideways trading action. And that's kind of what we saw here, instead of seeing a swift pullback on Bitcoin off this resistance level, also we have to factor in that this is now the third time for testing this resistance level. Typically, the second time is going to be the swiftest pullback as that's considered a double top. Third time is now potential to be a, a triple top, but it's also to be the potential to be a cup and handle breakout pattern or an ascending triangle pattern of which this is kind of a cup and handle pattern formation that broke her uh, here. Then the CPI numbers came out right after this potential reversal here, and that's what pushed this thing to the upside. We saw a massive rip to the upside, which now is pushing us towards the next level of major resistance, which is $30,000, which is the psychological level. But also if we look back on the chart here, it's also the pivot lows from the bull market, as well as the bull market pullback. Also back here, when you saw this consolidation right here, right around 30K. The 30K is obviously a number that is looking like we're potentially going to run to. So as we look at this right now, it's potentially looking like a shorting opportunity if we spike right into 30K, and then we can look for a swift pullback off that level. That's not exactly what happened here. We started consolidating sideways and up at about 28K, we were just sideways. We can also see this trend here, which I call the Degener trend, which is basically an identifier of short-term trends. Now, it doesn't work perfectly every time, but it is pretty good at identifying short-term trends that we can start tracking. As long as it holds price above the Jenner trend, it's in a actual bullish trend as of right now on a short-term time frame. Now, if it's just scaling very high above it, but if you start seeing it a lot of times pull back into that level and start pushing off of which we start seeing this doing, that's definitely a sign of a potential bullish flag pattern and just basically looking like we're consolidating in a now what is clearly a flag pattern as it's trading sideways. We're not seeing a swift pullback off this resistance. Now it is looking like it's going to be a potential magnet, what I would call to 30,000, especially if continually form up this bullish flag of which attempted to break out several times and faked a lot of people out thinking, oh, this is it. Nope. No, not it. <clears throat> now we're pulling back into that support level again on Degener trend, looking like a potential breakout here again. Nope, not it. And now finally on this day, I actually got long on Bitcoin and thinking, OK, this is clearly spiking back into Degener trend as we continually consolidate here as we now can clearly draw an ascending trend line. And now we have this kind of bullish flag ascending triangle breakout pattern. Also with the 30K 
monumental psychological resistance level, which would be a potential magnet, it's clearly a higher probability that we're gonna run right into this level. So that's when I got long on this position. It's clearly not gonna be a pullback right off this level as it wasn't a swift reaction off that resistance. We're really trading sideways now in a bullish formation. Got long, as you can see here, Bitcoin long at 28.883. I now only have 1.5 Bitcoin left, but this was a much larger position. I believe about six, seven hundred thousand more position. Already locked in $41,000 in profits every step of the way. I was locking in gains, 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 gains. Now, I typically don't wait for a, an, an actual target to be hit. I'm always ensuring that I'm locking in profits every step of the way up because I don't know if this is going to be just another one of these days like this where it looks like the breakout. And then all of a sudden we're back down and I'm in a negative position. As soon as I get into to a trade, every step of the way, I like to be locking in gains and I can continually move my stop up. You can see I have a stop trigger now placed if we start breaking down below these lows because this could easily come back down and pull back to this level about 28K because basically the target's already hit. We already reached the magnet of 30 K, but I still have some position open because I do believe we could potentially continually push up here on Bitcoin. We can now go to the real time level because one, we're still above degenerate trend. We're still holding above this 28, 29,000 level. The trend hasn't shifted yet, but we've peaked out at a major psychological resistance level at 38 K. But if we look also deeper in the chart, the previous high of this pivot here is all the way up at 32, three. So potentially we could continually running and trending all the way up in this level here, which then could potentially be the top before we see a big pullback. And as of right now, this is a big run that we have to factor in. It's basically going parabolic right now within a bear market. Is this a bullish market rebound or is this just a bear market rally into the previous resistance pivot from the actual bull market rally, right? So if we start trading above these pivots here, right around this level, that could potentially mean the beginning of the bull trend. But as of right now, a lot of people are questioning if this is just a bear market rally where we come back into that resistance and then we start continuing continually trending down for Bitcoin, of which I do believe is potentially possible. So right now I'm continually adding to my short position as we spike into this, because yes, I am simultaneously getting short as I'm exiting my long on this position. You can see I'm also short Bitcoin, about 13 Bitcoin for a $400,000 position as of right now, about break even as my position is here. All these orders right here are me getting short as well as locking in my profits. So, so but if we get above 32.9 and start trending up above there, as I said before, if we start trading and holding holding prices above these pivot levels from the previous bull market, then okay, maybe we're gonna continually see a price movement up. But you also have to be factoring in big data that's coming out. And this week we have CPI numbers coming out, the FOMC meeting, the Ethereum Shanghai upgrade, which means that people who have been staking their Ethereum can now withdraw that Ethereum and sell it for a profit if they do have a profit, or maybe they're at a major loss and they wanna get out of this position. So these are all things that we have to factor. But anyways, that's the situation right now. I'm continually adding to my short as we spike into this level and I'm also simultaneously locking in my longs. $41,000 profit guaranteed as of right now and I'll also stop out for profit if we start pulling back on Bitcoin but we'll continually update on this trade and we'll see how it goes. All right guys we are back. A few days later CPI numbers came out better than expected. We also have PPI numbers coming out in about one minute. It will be interesting to see what happens here. Bitcoin has still kind of been stabilizing. Now Ethereum actually just ripped to the upside in a very similar pattern that we just actually traded to the long side, scalping this up to 2000. If we look at the intraday chart, same kind of thing, just a bullish flag that's hovering right underneath what I would call a magnet to a major whole number, right? So we just got long on Ethereum. I had pre-warned to my group in Telegram saying, hey guys, we're consolidating in this bullish flag. If we break out above here, this could potentially be a long straight to 2000 where we can lock in profits. Nice little profit target setup here of which I'm also simultaneously again, adding to my shorts as this is spiking to the upside into 2000. I think the numbers might have just came out as we are seeing a bit, a bit of a spike to the upside as of right now, which means they could be better than expected. But a lot of times the first initial move that you see on a major news event, such as a high impact news event like PPI, looks like it says pending here, it's coming out. A lot of times the first move is actually going to be the wrong move and will potentially reverse off that, which is that exactly what we saw on US stocks on the CPI number. Right, we saw the initial spike to the upside on CPI, of which I started adding more to my shorts, and then a drop right after that to the downside. And now we're seeing an initial spike on the upside for PPI numbers to the upside, which could potentially then trigger a downside move. Doesn't happen every time, but it's typically a lot of times the first initial reaction is the opposite of where it ends up shortly after. Where so it looks like it's actually better than expected on the PPI as well as what happened with the CPI numbers that just came out. Let's see what happens with our 
are long positions on Ethereum. Again, I am long right now Ethereum. You can see I just got long. I've already locked in over 50% of my profits on this long scalp. 3,400 locked in, 3,100 still open. You can see these are all me getting ready to lock in profits along the way up. And I also have a bunch of short orders, guys, in a grid if we spike over those previous highs. Brief interruption here, guys. Did you know that 75% of traders have accounts under $25,000? This creates a huge problem because even if you double that account in a year, which is almost impossible, you're still only making $25,000. Introducing Hydra Funding, where you can potentially get access up to $500,000 in capital. All you have to do, guys, is sign up for a challenge account, which is going to give you potentially access up to $500,000. And if you earn a 10% profit in this demo account without going into a 5% loss overall or a 4% loss in a day, you will then pass their evaluation phase and yes, get access to an account with the selected size account. And now instead of trying to double a $10,000 account, you could potentially earn only 10% on a $100,000 account to earn the same level of profits. And the benefits of this are huge. Rather than risking your entire $10,000 on one account, you can use just $1,000 to potentially get access to $100,000 in capital. You can trade crypto, Forex, stocks, CFTs, gold, oil, everything under the sun, all on MT4 and MT5. If you're interested, if you have an account under $25,000, like 75% of traders out there, you're not going to make any money with that account because it's too small. Get access to pro-level funding and pro-level capital with Hydra Funding. Link's going to be below. And if we start getting over 2100 I'm like, okay, maybe it's time I give up on this trade and call it quits. But I never typically look for a pinpoint entry unless I'm buying into a breakout. If I'm looking to trade a reversal of which I am right here, it could reverse anywhere in this range. I have no fucking idea. It could reverse down at 1900, it could reverse at 2000, it could reverse at 2100. But that's why I try to get in small orders in a grid within a large range and then have my stop somewhere up in an area that's higher above where the potential range could be happening. But you have to factor in when you're getting in there, where's my stop gonna be and how much am I gonna lose if I if all those orders get filled and I still get stopped out. Typically, max, I always try to not lose more than 2% on any given trade. The moment you start losing more than 2% on a trade is when you start getting yourself in trouble. So it's easy to set that up. All you got to do is tick the long or short tool. What is your account balance? Which I, it's right now it's 574, but I had 550. So a 1% position on this right now, Ethereum <clears throat> would be 125 coins of Ethereum quantity. Now, if it hit the stop loss, that would mean I would lose 1% of my total account, right? So you can put whatever you want, your risk want to be in here. So for this particular trade, you definitely want it to be two to one where I'm going to make more than double than my loss of which I wanted to risk no more than 1% on this trade, which at this current stop level, 1% 1 per, 1 loss meant I could buy 124 coins of Ethereum at that price that I got in. And then I started locking in gains every step of the way. I've already locked 3,400. So I'm already guaranteed $3,400 in profit on this trade right now. I've already moved my stop up into profits. As you can see here, now this profit, this stop level is above my profit target level. Or my stop loss level is now above my entry level. So I'm good on that. If we look at the Bitcoin long here, guys. Again, my stop loss is all also moved up into profits. So my entry was all the way down here at about 28,000. I've already locked in 41,000 every step of this way. It already filled like 15 orders, guys. Okay. So I'm not just getting in and then waiting for one price to get out. Like 15 orders lined up here, selling every step of the way up to the upside, ensuring that I'm locking in profits. It, what it enables me to do is not have to worry about where the top is because I'm locking in gains like every fucking 50 points across a bunch of different orders and then continually moving my stop up along that as well. So we'll see what's going to happen here. Goldman Sachs reporting earnings on Friday. Very important that you're looking at things like CryptoCraft's calendar, whatever the high impact news is here in the red. Typically, people are like, why did the market move today? What's going on? Like A lot of the major spikes to the upside or the downside are a lot of times triggered by a high impact news event that's happening, whether it be earnings in the market or a high impact economic data point. There's a bunch of different economic calendars that are out there that'll show you this stuff. I just typically use CryptoCraft. So interesting to see what's going to happen, guys. I'm also sure Ethereum as we spike into this level, I'm shorting Bitcoin as we spike in this level. I'm also long XRP. Maybe the news case comes out any point in time now. That's an update for now. The trades are still open. I haven't closed these long positions yet. We'll take a look at what happens tomorrow. I got to get ready to get some sleep. Overall, locked in a lot of gains. Again, I already traded this once to the upside right here, made about $12,000 on 
the Ethereum right here on this run. Then I got stopped out on this spike to the downside, continued to flag. I got back in for the same similar intraday bull flag, just pattern right here. I identified it and got in literally right before this spike to the upside. If we look at wolf alerts, ETH ripping, here's what a wolf alert looks like, right? Trade idea long scalp, Ethereum stop out. If I get stopped out, I'll lose 1.5%. Stop or entry is 1938, I'll dollar cost average down to 1900, stop 1894. My target range is between 1990 to 2025. This is what the chart looked like when we did that, right? So it was just breaking out right here on Ethereum when this actually triggered. And now the two hour chart, just big spike, just a scalp right into 2k we're right into that whole number we have a magnet if you see a consolidation pattern in a bullish setup or even a bearish setup right into a major psychological or physical support level it's likely going to drop into that and it's also the same on the upside if you see a bullish consolidation right below a support level it's likely going to spike right into that level and so we'll see what happens here because we also have that previous high from back here highest closing price was 1983 highest peak here was 2029 so my profit target here was between 1990 and 2025 for my long position and i'll continually add to this short if we start spiking over because if we start spiking over this to the upside and then fake everyone out that's what we call a bull trap of which we'll talk about in another video we will track that trade on the short side by make or lose money and that's what i'm looking at right now that's a wrap for right now and we'll continue to monitor this trade all right guys another day has passed and ethereum and bitcoin just fucking ripped to the upside look at ethereum pumping to the upside after we got long right here prior to this breakout to the upside as we got in prior to this breakout we saw that big push my target was between 1990 in about 2025 we locked in all of our gains here right before this rip i was actually live on youtube this morning when this happened and this thing just saw a huge spike of which i added to my short as we spiked up here and you can see right now i am down about 15 16 000 on my short on ethereum i'm down 98 100 on my Bitcoin short and I'm down $2,000 on the INJ short. So negative 28K or so on my open short positions, but I just locked in close to $60,000 on the long position. So net profit, I'm about 30,000 of which this is for another video to, to monitor these short trades. Uh, typically my shorts go against me first before I actually get profitable on them because I'm getting in a range I don't know when the exact top is where a breakout it's very clear where that breakout point is you can buy into a pre-breakout as anticipation before it breaks out and then you sell into the breakout but this is kind of funny you can see me with these shorts getting filled and it's a little bit scary because it happens so quick within 60 seconds a massive candle here on ethereum to the upside a short but i'm typically always negative on my short to begin with and then i build that position as it goes against me here we go ethereum ethereum pumping shorts are getting filled shorts are getting filled watch this gotta move the stop out of the way I didn't want to get stopped out on that first build, initial trigger. Build. Build. I was like, oh shit, we're getting closer. Let's move this stop up slightly. Famous last words. Oh no, am I going to get stopped? I'm moving my stop. Moving my stop, <laughs> which is typically not a good thing to be doing. But a lot of people that get faked out are the people who get stopped out on that first wick, which is a lot of times a reversal wick. And this is just liquidation of people getting stopped out, of which I did not want to be that guy, especially because my stop is there as a protection for myself. But typically that open market order stop is there if I'm not around so that I don't get screwed if I'm not monitoring. At that time, I was monitoring what was happening, break out to the upside. I did not want to get stopped out on that first initial push. Now, it doesn't mean if it goes back above that level again here in about 2150, 2200, sure, I'll stop out. But I don't want to get stopped out on that first spike where that just fucks over everybody because that typically a lot of times can be the reversal. So overall, on the long side, perfect setup, perfect trade. We had this bullish flag breakout here on the chart. Boom got in pre breakout the magnet right to a whole number ripped the upside we locked in quick gains it did spike much higher than i was expecting right here but i am getting short simultaneously locked in about about 15,000 or so on this entire trade because we first traded this flag pattern breakout here on ethereum for this rip right here and then we got in again for this rip right here and also we're looking at bitcoin perfect breakout is spiking into about 31k just topping out of which it continued to add to my shorts of which we'll discuss that trade at another time but overall about sixty thousand dollars trading a very simple flag breakout pattern that is right under a major resistance level what we just kind of reached that magnet right up to that level you know the shorts are eating away at some of that profit right now but i'm still 
net profit 30k right now on this position overall in the grand scheme of things of which i do believe that there's a high probability that these shorts go back into profits and i do make money on it as i said most of the time my shorts are always going into a negative position as i build that position and then i see the reversal and i capitalize on it all right guys as promised i want to do a course giveaway i'm going to give you all my courses for absolutely free to one lucky winner all you got to do is click the link in the description enter your email so we can contact you when we draw a winner also you must hit that like button and you must post a comment this is some extremely high level advanced training for absolutely free to one lucky winner we're going to do this every video get to it. All right, guys. Now, if you want to watch a monumental video of how I turned 20,000 into $1.7 million using the strategies that I teach in my courses, there's going to be a link with a thumbnail somewhere right up here to watch that video right now. I promise you it's going to be worth it. Go ahead and click the link. Where is it? It's somewhere. Click it right now. I'll see you over there.